if you enjoy a good cream blush as well as a cream bronzer then essence has the perfect new product for you these are the essence baby god blush and baby god bronze contour and blush sticks and today we are testing them out So I have my base makeup already done. This is claimed that the creamy bronzer and blush is silky and blendable for a natural fresh complexion look. So we are going to test that out today. So my base makeup is already done. I actually reviewed the Essence Camouflage Concealer, the Healthy Glow version. I previously reviewed the Camouflage Matte Concealer. So I will link that up above in the cards. Let's look at the claims of the Baby God Blush and Bronze Creamy Sticks. So for the blush, Essence claims that this is a silky and blendable texture. And for the contour or the bronzer, they claim that this is a creamy and buildable texture for an effortless sun-kissed look. So that is what we are testing out today. As you can see, I'm nice and pale. I need to give myself a little bit of more of a sun-kissed look, a little bit more of a flushed look. So the Baby God Blush is actually available in two shades, Tickle Me Pink and Rosé All Day. And the bronzer only is only available in one shade, which is shade 10 Cinnamon Spice. So both of these retail for around about 82 rands on House of Cosmetics. Let's look at the amount of product you get. So quite a lot of product that you are getting and again like the claim it is quite a small and compact size lash stick and if you're from south africa then the scent will bring back so much childhood memories it smells like those chappies that we used to buy and so it brings back so much memories but if you're not from south africa it's got like almost like a watermelon kind of um, fragrance to it and again essence is cruelty free as well as vegan so i'm gonna go in with the blush first and just apply it where i would usually do quite pigmented from the get-go like you can see one swipe really gave me a really good area so i'm not gonna like go over it a <laughs> hundred times so let's see this side again really good coverage um, very pigmented as you can see and creamy as well I'm gonna do one dot on the forehead on each side and a little bit on my lips because why not and check okay, so now that I look like a clown I'm gonna first blend this out on the side with my trusty beauty sponge and on this side I'm going to do it with a brush just to see if there's any difference in the blendability of the, br the blush stick. There's absolutely, I think, no difference in the coverage whether you blend it out with a beauty sponge or with a brush. I think even if you blend it out with your fingers you'll have the same amount of coverage which is nice for those that do prefer sponges versus brushes versus just using their hands. Um, so no difference in that and I absolutely love the way that this is looking. I look super healthy, very youthful and I know like the blushed look is kind of like a very in thing right now and even on my lips like it's like I have like a beautiful lipstick on. Meanwhile, it's just a blush. <laughs> so let's go in with the bronzer and see what that looks like. I want to say some amount of product is given then in the blush like usually you know it would, wouldn't differ that much. Still the same smell as like that chappy smell or the watermelon smell. So let's see if it's the same as the blush here. Over here. A little bit on my eyes. And the jawline. So I'm going to blend it out again. This side beauty sponge, this side brush and see what it looks like. No difference whatsoever. Um, I just feel like this side is a little bit more dark because there's no light coming from this side. I, I have a lot of light coming from this side. So maybe if I turn like that, you can see. So this is the final result. I'm so happy with the, I want to say like the healthy glow look that it's giving. Again, there's no oiliness. It's looking super, super healthy. I do have a oily T-zone, so I am going to apply a little bit of powder. So this is the before. 
And this is my complexion after applying powder. I feel like it still looks very healthy, very glowy. And I think it's, it looks perfectly super blendable. Final verdict, I really think this is a beautiful blush and bronzer. Again, if you're going for that sun-kissed, bronzed up look and you love the more natural complexion, like flushed look, then these are definitely something that you can go for. Love the formula. Again, Essence is always cruelty-free and vegan. Relation of this, very creamy, very buildable, both with hands, brushes, and even sponges. And I love the price point of these. Again, they retail for around about like 80 Rand. I think it's very affordable, especially for the amount of product that you are getting. It's very compact in size, so you can travel with it, apply it as you go. Let me know if you want me to do like a weight test, see how long these kind of wear in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Essence related videos, then you can check this video out next.